standing in the middle of a gorgeous patch of Sonoran Desert, surrounded by several different kinds of magnificent cacti, which comprise a large part of the desert's flora. The cactus family is New World, with approximately 1,800 species that primarily inhabit arid and semi-arid regions throughout the Americas. Agaves and yuccas are in the New World subfamily Agavoidae in the Asparagaceae, and number approximately 270 and 50 species, respectively. Cacti, agaves, and yuccas are well represented in our Sonoran Desert, where, like elsewhere, have and continue to play important ecological and cultural roles for millennia. Unfortunately, the Sonoran Desert is considered the fifth most threatened biome in the country. As a result of overcollection and habitat loss, cacti are the fifth most endangered organism on the planet, with 31% under threat. Several agaves and yuccas are also at risk. Two of the most fundamental questions regarding plants is what species occur where, and how are these species doing? We have a good idea thanks to herbarium specimens housed in herbaria. There are many excellent sites that describe what an herbarium is, their importance, and how to make herbarium specimens in general. Simply put, an herbarium is a collection of preserved plant specimens maintained as a reference collection primarily, but not exclusively, for scientific purposes in perpetuity. An herbarium specimen is a voucher documenting a species growing at a particular site at a particular time. So much of what we know about plant species can be directly attributed to herbarium specimens and new species are continuously being described. Herbarium specimens with excellent data and material are important for determining what species the plant or populations represent, which of course leads towards determining their distribution, ecological roles, and all sorts of other information critical towards their appropriate stewardship and conservation. There are over a hundred uses of herbarium specimens, a figure that will continue to grow. Luca Guinea, an Italian physician and botanist, created the first recorded herbarium in 1544, drying plants while pressing them between pieces of paper then gluing them to cardboard. If he only knew how much his idea impacted our knowledge of plants and habitats throughout the world. The taxonomy and systematics of cacti, agaves, and yucca are complex and often confusing, due in large part to the lack of informative, high-quality herbarium specimens, which impedes our ability to understand and implement appropriate conservation strategies. There are several challenges in making herbarium specimens of cacti, agaves, and yuccas and these plants often like to grow in difficult to access areas. However, the fact remains we need more and better specimens. So how do we collect these challenging, formidable, beautiful, and iconic plants? We share our techniques honed over several decades of practice and experience, often involving trial, error, and pain. There is always room for improvement and we welcome suggestions or advice that works well for others. Upon seeing the finished beautiful herbarium specimen with excellent data and plant material, one experiences a unique thrill. Let's begin the adventure. Throughout human existence, doing a job right requires having the right tools, and preparing cacti specimens is no exception. Normally, one might not think about their attire when collecting annuals, trees, or shrubs, but not with spiny succulent plants. A body clothed with a suit of armor might be the first logical choice for collecting cacti. 
but wearing such makes it rather difficult to maneuver. A better solution is to outfit oneself with sturdy jeans or work pants, long-sleeved UV-protected shirts, a good pair of wraparound sunglasses, and a hat. Be sure to jettison anything you once thought might be necessary, but now realize is not. <laughs>